What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment. And here's my review of Soul. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Pete Doctor, the writer, director, animator, who won Oscar for Pixar's Up, and then a few years later, he won his second Oscar for Pixar's Inside Out. And now, is he gonna win his third Oscar for his latest film, Soul? Well, we shall see, but all signs seem to indicate exactly that, because Soul is a funny, heartwarming, wonderful tale of human essence and purpose in a way that doesn't beat you in the head with it. You've got the beautiful animation, you've got the hypnotic jazz music, and you've got the entertaining back and forth between Jamie Foxx and Tina Fey. This movie's got it all and Pixar has done it again. Directed by Oscar winner Pete Docter and co-directed by Kemp Powers, Oscar winner Jamie Foxx voices Joe Gardner a middle school band teacher who gets the chance of a lifetime to play at the best jazz club in town. But one small misstep takes him from the streets of New York City to the Great Before, a fantastical place where new souls get their personalities, quirks, and interests before they go to Earth. Determined to return to his life, Joe teams up with a precocious soul 22, voiced by Tina Fey, who has never understood the appeal of the human experience. As Joe desperately tries to show 22 what's great about living, he may just discover the answers to some of life's most important questions. I'm sure with this case, casting a multifaceted talent like Jamie Foxx, who himself can play the piano, and has an incredible singing voice, is basically like winning half the battle. Jamie is absolutely splendid in this film, and just like Sarah Silverman in those Wreck-It Ralph movies, Tina Fey also plays a little kid called 22, whose innocence and childlike wonder and curiosity about the human experience is both delightful and joyous. I love the sequences whenever Joe gets lost in the zone as he plays the piano freestyle. It's like he's alone in his own world as these various bright colors just suddenly surround him like they're swaying to it. And because it's jazz, you never quite know where it's gonna go, but the journey, not the destination, is pretty much the whole point. Halfway through, Soul becomes a bit of a body swap movie. So during this period of the story, they kind of crank the comical frenzies up a notch, but the underlying thread of the themes remains intact. The script always knows how to place those profound moments at just the right time. I don't know if Pete Doctor subconsciously did this, but parts of Soul kinda remind you of his previous film, Inside Out. You see, in Inside Out, there's this place called Memory Dump, where emotions and memories get abandoned and forgotten. Well, in Soul, there is a place like that for souls that don't have purpose or bodies to inhabit. That's just one of the several examples in this movie that will make you think that perhaps Soul is Inside Out spiritual sequel. Be that as it may, if you know anybody who's on the brink of giving up on life, take them to go watch this movie to remind them that there is more to living than just that one thing. 